Hi, and welcome back to Pro Design Channel. Today, we are diving into the world of interior design with a focus on creating realistic cutting fabrics using V-Ray for SketchUp. We'll be looking into four different cutting style, linen, lace or patterned, cotton, and velvet. Let's get started. First, let's set up our scene. I've already prepared a basic room with large windows where we have our curtains. Make sure your model is ready with the windows positioned where you want the curtains to hang. To start, we need some basic cutting geometry. You can either model this yourself or download a pre-made model from the 3D warehouse. Ensure the curtains are sized appropriately for your windows. Next, we'll start to create our basic V-Ray materials. Open V-Ray Asset Editor, come to the material and want to create two generic materials. So make sure you tag them. We want to create the linen fabric first. Note that linen fabric allows light through the cutting. Then the next thing is to create two-sided material. All right, and you want to also tag that. So now that we have our back, our front, and our two-sided, we want to click on the two-sided linen that we just set. If we check out the parameters, we see front material, back material. And that's the reason why we have the back side and the front side. So that is what we want to insert into this slot respectively. Let's set up our back side and our front side. All you need to do is to just bring this to whatever color that you prefer. I prefer this at first. Let's just set to something close to white at first. And that is good. Let's come to the two-sided linen. I want to insert a front to front. So just click on this. Search carefully for your front, front side. Insert that and immediately you see it's taking form and your back material as well. Carefully search for back side. And now we have that. So you have another parameter here, which is the translucency. So translucency would determine how translucent or opaque the material will be. Once you slide towards the right, it becomes more translucent. So it permits more light into the scene and it becomes more transparent than when you slide backwards. When you slide backwards, it becomes opaque and it doesn't permit light into the scene. We want to just leave it around here. Before we move on, we want to see how our scene looks like without any texture on it. So let's check how it looks like. We can see that these cuttings here looks plain and they do not permit light to come in. We can see the floor. Now let's allow light to come in by adding our two-sided linen to this part. Let's stop this. All right. Just select it and click on this apply to selection. Now we have it here. We can quickly test how it looks like. So this is beautiful and we can easily see that light has now started showing and even the frame behind here is starting to show. So we can turn down the slider and we see it becomes more opaque like I said. We can even turn it down a bit. So this can add different touches to your interior. So let's quickly render this and see what it gives us. This is the result. I just quickly rendered a part of the cutting and we see we have our simple linen fabric for our cutting and now light is permitted in. We can see the floor, we can see the ceiling well lit as well. Without further ado, let us go to the next, which is how to create lace or pattern translucent cutting material. Let's open our very asset editor and come to the two-sided linen. Right click on that and quickly duplicate that. This time around, we want to name it lace. This is going to be a little advanced than what we did with the two-sided linen. We simply come here and add some pattern to the translucency. In the two-sided linen, what we did was just to slide the translucency from dark to bright. 
but now we won't do that we will need to add a pattern into our texture slot you can go on google and type lace pattern now we we'll go to color correction as i usually do then we we'll come to bitmap then come to some of our texture that i've downloaded so these are the patterns this is how it looks like it is better downloaded in a black and white version you have less stress editing or trying to edit to come out better now i have different patterns firstly we we'll try this and now we have this let's check how it looks like already we can see this is looking really nice if we check through our preview here it looks really nice so but there is one thing we have to do to make sure it looks nicer even here is to make sure it is well mapped make sure you come to translucent and copy the texture right click and copy then come to the binding then right click paste as instance now that you've pasted as instance we want to quickly come here right click and apply to selection so once applied to the selection you see your texture will appear because you already set it as the binding bitmap here now we see that obviously this is not mapping well it looks flattened and that is not what i want for this cutting just quickly select your cutting material and come to the V-Ray Triplanar projection. Click on that. It may take a while depending on the complexity of your geometry. So this helps you to map your texture properly. And once that is mapped, come to your edit. And here we want to start to edit how large it is or how big it will look like let's set to 500 and it still looks flattened let's unlock our ratio and make it square 500 by 500 and then let's lock it again i like how this is coming out now so let's check what we have now with our pattern and guys you can see some beautiful pattern and it looks really nice I like this so maybe we can reduce this to about 300 and see the results very cool all right so basically this is how you create your list pattern let me come in here and insert another list pattern all right I like this it looks more matured and let's see what it gives us beautiful guys you can see our pattern here which makes our cutting look more realistic so guys let's go to the next one which is how to simply create our cotton fabric come to the asset creator come to the material we we'll create generic and we we'll name this as cotton all right tag that then to create our cutting let's come to the parameters here we have our diffuse come to our diffuse then click on color correction and we want to simply select our, our cotton texture open that so that we have this we can wrap this with our fall off once we wrap that our former texture would automatically be placed here by default in the color a so in the color b we want to have a brighter shade of that same texture to create this fall off effect around the fabric material and that is what we want to do we want to copy this as just copy paste as copy not as instance because we want to be able to edit this independent of the other texture so we'll come to the lightness mode change the lightness mode to gamma again and then we want to just bring this you know bring it all in 
we want to make it brighter all right okay now we have a brighter shade of the same texture and we have that in order to add even more drama come to the bump just select this again as your bitmap we can wrap it in color correction and simply change it or desaturate it so that it works finer then you know gamma you know just make details come out even more and this is you can see the detail here coming out to reduce the bump amount and just to create that subtle detail good now that we have that we want to just simply apply our cutting onto this click on this then right click apply to selection now this looks good let's try and see what we have here and guys we can see our cutting has been applied and we might not be able to see it clearly here let's stop this and come even closer all right then let's check what we have great we can see it has some fall off around here around the edges and guys this is basically how you can create your cotton material so let's just stop that and let's move straight to the next one which is the velvet let me just duplicate this and change this to velvet then what we want to do to the velvet is simple we quickly just want to come to the to the advanced switch here and come to the shin so for the shin we want to add a velvet texture let's come to the color correction then come to bitmap then we want to come to the velvet texture that we have the velvet dirt so i'm using this dirt we want to come to the lightness mode that is what we want then the shin color we want to slide that as well so we still want to make sure this is even much more pronounced okay now we can start to see the velvet around here so we can still try to play with this all right uh, let's see okay we can start to see the velvet so just try and tweak it to what you like and what you feel will be good for you all right so this is looking nice in order to make sure this is well mapped you want to just copy the velvet texture come to the binding uh, come to the custom then we want to paste that as instance then we want to apply that to our selection you can see that it is not properly mapped to map this correctly just come to the edit and just do 2000 all right and i think this is looking good we can increase that to about four you know now uh, let's see two all right this is good and we can come back and change the binding to auto let's 
come closer let's reduce this to 1000 all right then let's check out what we have so this is what we have for our cutting we can see the velvet effect you can see the fall off as well so this is basically how you set the materials or different types of cutting that you want let's render the scene observe how the light interacts with the cutting and make any final tweaks to the material settings if needed adjust intensity reflection translucency to perfect the look and there you have it beautiful realistic cutting fabrics created with V-Ray for SketchUp. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel inspired to try these techniques in your own projects. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Happy rendering!